This is money in the pocket. Good morning. Uh, we are here in the field test today with uh, one of our key farmers, Oli. So we are here to showcase the tire performance, the slip test, soil compaction test, along with BF, I, IF tires with the standard tires. And one of our my presentation is based on the new product we are launching. Uh, it's called the hybrid tires, which is for the row crop as well as for the tractors. The best part of the hybrid tire, it can work on road easily as well as off road easily. So we will be looking the patterns like 363, 373. It's a new pattern hybrid tires, which has IFVF technology, agri-flex technology, which can work on like more 40% load on the same pressure. So that's the key part over here. And we will continue this event. Thank you so much. It's the driest day of the year so far, which is a bit of a surprise <laughs> when we were planning it a few months ago. We've got a hole over there that we've dug and we made a, a, a sand sandwich. So we put layers of sand, we've driven over it with different tyre pressures to show the difference in the distortion in the soil. Um, we've done some footprint testing, which was really interesting, climbing under tracks and throwing sand at the tyres. Something I'd never thought I'd be doing one day. We've done a traction test behind us, behind you. That's um, however many rotations of the tyre, then we, then we change the tyre pressure. Uh, we've got all the machines here that are on Alliance tyres, the Telehandler, the wood chipper, the muck spreader. Yeah, the, the soil type today is sort of a, a loam over, over clay, about six inches of topsoil. It can get very sticky when it's wet, but it's clay underneath. These tractors now, they can burn that much fuel an hour that if you've not got the tyres set right, you can cost more than the man's cost and you're just in wasted fuel. So it's important to get the tyre pressures right. And I think it's about educating the operators more than anything. You know, if, you, if you're out there burning fuel, you want to make sure that you, you're only using the bare minimum. So you arrived here at the slippage test. What we're gonna do today is we're gonna display the effect of grip during tillage and the role of tires in that particular field of work. Basically what we're doing here is showing what the distance could, have, could be when you travel with zero slip and then show the effect of slip. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna put the sumo down, we're gonna drive and we will see an X percentage of slip. Uh, once we have determined that, since we are using Alliance VF tyres, we have an influence on this slip percentage. And this slip percentage is very important for your efficiency and your costs. So you need to have your slip percentage within a certain amount of range to work as efficient as possible. So there are several things you could do to a tractor but when you've got the right set of tyres, you have quite a bit of range to steer it. So what we're basically going to do here is show what is happening if you set it wrong and what, if happens, what happens if you set it right. And if you set the correct tyre pressure and you have the correct amount of grip, you can stay in within the right range of the slip percentage, which can reduce up to 30% of fuel. So with the AgriFlex uh, Plus 372 tyre, since it is a VF tyre, we have a larger spectrum where we can um, influence the slip compared to a standard radial tyre. Since the tyre allows a lower tyre pressure than a standard radial tyre, the VF tyre you have more control of a slip situation. Well it's surprising really and, and if you've got a man on the seat now, the diesel attractor's burning is costing you more than the man on the seat, so it's very important to use that diesel efficiently. And a good operator with the right tyre pressure can actually earn their own wages. Now we are in the station in which we will compare the compaction of the soil that occurs when we run on a field with the Agristar 2 standard tyre or uh, Agriflex Plus uh, VF tires. And in this station we will show that the VF tires uh, uh, has a less compaction of the soil in a comparison to the uh, standard tires. Uh, in fact, we can see the layers uh, for VF tires that are less compacted than the standard layers. And uh, we can also see the number of the layers that uh, are affected by the compaction. For the standard tires, uh, there are three or four layers, uh, instead for the VF, only two layers. And this is important because uh, if we consider the structure of our soil, we can see that 
for the VF tiles uh, we will act only on the layers uh, in which the customer can plow or till it. And instead uh, for the uh, standard tiles uh, the compaction goes deeper into the ground and uh, uh, reach uh, some um, area that is not touched by the plowing. So the compaction for the uh, Agistar 2 will be remain for all the year if uh, we don't apply a deeper plow. I like stuff that's visual and I think it, it really shows the damage you do when you drive across the field. It's not just that rut or you know this impression, it's, it's underneath where you can't see, which is the root zone. So station is all about setting it right, setting the pressure right, keeping the lifetime of your tires right. Basically knowing what you have in the box to preserve your tires, to preserve your field. Correct pressure, correct working conditions. So basically we are standing here beside the VF, Agriflex 389, working with a 30% lower pressure compared to the standard flotation tire. So you can see we set the pressure matching the load. In this case it's about 6,100 kilograms per tire. You can see the deflection of this setting it right, keeping your soil alive and basically having a perfect crop production from your field. So a recommendation is look on what you're doing. What, what, is, what is the need? Are you basically in transport from the field towards facility, production, storage, whatever it is, so basically transport. Then you're looking more for a high load capacity tire, basically high load, high traveling speed. Because tire pressure, or tire weight capacity, load capacity is always a combination between speed pressure and weight. So we have a lot of transport, which is typically a high speed, you also need a high pressure. But in the field, when you're working with high pressure, and in case of the standard tire, it's a six bar nominal pressure. That's compacting your soil, basically losing capacity for growing crops the next year. So in that case, if you're more in the field, you will go to the VF, basically lowering your pressure to around 2.52 bar. And this reduces your compaction. And if you see what my colleagues are showing today, if you look at compaction, this is it. This is protection, this is crop, this is money in the pocket. These ones we probably use more on the road, I think they're 590. So they're a, they're a flow, but they're not, you can't run them ultra low, but they're like a good all rounder. So they're good on the road, good in the field. But if you were gonna be doing a lot more field work than road work, you wanna really be looking at, at the VF because you can get it even lower still. Today we are going to show the difference between a uh, VF tire in comparison to a uh, standard tires. The Agriflex Plus VF could be used with a lower pressure than a standard tires uh, Agistar 2. And we are going to show how the uh, footprint change uh, with a low pressure in comparison to the high pressure. We print on the ground uh, four different footprint, one with Agrestar 2 high pressure and low pressure and one with uh, VF tire high pressure and low pressure and we can show how the uh, VF low pressure is uh, larger than all other, other footprints. Most important part of the footprint is the length because the width of the footprint doesn't change uh, so much but the length we saw that uh, if we uh, apply a low pressure on the VF, we can gain 35% more length than the standard tires. A large footprint has several aspects, for example, uh, um, soil compaction, fuel uh, consumption, uh, traction, um, pressure on the ground, and the uh, time of work of the machine. We basically ended up with a three foot, three and a half foot, nearly four foot long footprint. On a, on a VF running, I think it was like 0.6 of a bar. So it meant that rather than going wider on the road, we can keep the footprint going longer and ended up with a, well, a hell of a lot more surface area on the floor and a lot less pressure.